night. I am um, a bit of a ridiculous man. I like to watch ridiculous dudes hit on women in bars. Like, you ever seen a guy hit on a woman through a group of other people? Like, not, do not even bother walking up to her. Just, like, yells at her, like, hey, you with the tits. You guys move. What's up? I'm Greg. Like, that guy? You ever seen that guy? Like, I saw that guy on a bus once. Crowded bus. I was 16 years old in Portland, Oregon, where I'm from. Crowded bus. This woman gets on with two sacks of laundry, sets them down, sweating. Like, the picture of, please do not hit on me right now. And this guy at one end of the bus is just like, what's up? And the whole boss is like, what's up, who? Like, who are you talking to? And she finally realizes he's talking to her, and she's like, what? And he's like, what's up? Like, says it again. And she's like, nothing, laundry. And he's like, want to get a drink? It's 10 a.m. Did I say that? <laughs> no, I don't want to get a drink. Like, one drink. Like, that's the tipping point. Like, she's like, okay, I'll take a Manhattan. That's fine. It's like, one drink. And she's like, no, I don't want to get a drink with you, right? And his answer was so stupid, it was almost genius, what he said. I remember, she said, I don't want to get a drink with you. And what he said back was, that's not the point. What? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? To this day, I have no idea what the fuck that means. The whole bus lost it. We're like, what's not the point? What's this guy talking about? Like, I want to try that out. Like, not on a girl, but, like, go to a crowded coffee place, like the hip coffee place. And when I get my, you know when you're waiting for your coffee and the guy ahead of you gets your same coffee? Like, vanilla latte for Chris. You're behind Chris. Like, fuck you, Chris. Fucking, <laughs> I'll burn your house down. Like, behind him, just angry. Just take his coffee and walk away. And when he's like, hey, that's not your coffee, turn around. That's not the point, dude. <laughs> you're gonna be like, how did I lose that argument and my coffee? Just, I'll just take a latte. That guy's crazy. I don't know. I have a girlfriend. Sorry, fellas. What? Um, which is good, because I'm kind of a ding-dong. Like, I need somebody to look out for me, you know? I need it. You know, like, I was out one night with her having some drinks. Got a little high. I just lied to you. Got fucking stoned as hell. And Went to a bar and I burst through the doors like, let's listen to some Thin Lizzy, ACDC, let's rock it tonight. And all I hear in the darkness is B, one, O, four, N, three. It's bingo night, right? But I'm so high, I'm like, letters, numbers, letters, numbers. What? Is this the new Skrillex tune? What's going on? B, one, like something to a hit, but it never hits. And I realized, oh, it's bingo night. And you know when you're so messed up, you try to act like you're not messed up until you look 10 times more messed up than you are. Hello, how are you, fellow adults? This is strange. <laughs> Doff of the cap, I'm not wearing a hat. That was weird, hello. Lovely breasts, you're a man, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I go to the guy running bingo and I'm like, hey, bingo, oh, sorry, uh, bingo master? Hi, um, what's the prize for winning bingo? And the guy looks at me and goes, horseback riding lessons? I'm high, so I'm like, I'm winning that for you, baby! Blurted it out. Everyone gets tense in the quiet room. I'm not the guy getting on a crowded bus with his dick out. Everyone's weird. So I get my bingo, and I'm, I'm working my way through the crowd, right? And I sit, I get to sit down, and I win. I win at bingo, because God loves fools and children. I'm at least one, right? And what do you say when you win bingo? bingo. Not this jackass. <laughs> What I literally blurted out was, fuck yeah, I win! Bingo! <laughs> like the Hulk win, win bingo. And I'm making my way through the crowd, like I'm just fucking, just like so high, and everyone is booing me. Everyone's like, boo, boo! I found out later they boo anyone that wins, but at the time I was stoned, I thought they hated me. I'm like, why are you booing me? I wanna be your friend, stop booing. Is this like that short story, the lottery? Don't throw rocks, I'm not in my mind. And as I go up there, I get the best insult I've ever heard in my life thrown at me, okay? And I should say this, I'm wearing, an in, I'm wearing a t-shirt from Peaches Records. So my chest just says Peaches across the front, right? It says Peaches. And this woman stands up at a table full of other women across the room and yells at me, fuck you, Peaches, the best put down you'll ever hear in your life directed towards a man. Cause there's no comeback to fuck you, Peaches. I forgot I had the shirt on. I'm like, why am I peaches? I live near here. Do you guys call me peaches? I'm not around. Like paranoid fantasies. Like I'm getting my mail. And so I'm like, fucking check it out. Peaches getting his fucking mail. <laughs> Fuck you, peaches. 
I should say I've been doing that joke like six months. I've had that phrase yelled at me on the street several times. And the look on people's faces between me and the person is the best. It's like, fuck you, peaches! And they wave. Every rapper has the same move. You ever notice that? That's to let you know to be an extra series. That's the part of songs you really pay attention to. It works. I use it myself. I'm like, put some butter on that bagel, bitch. Imagine if, uh, if a smaller creature jumped on your back and was like, take me over there. You'd be like, get the hell off. You'd probably kill it. You'd probably kill it and eat it. <laughs>